And we're live. Hello. Hello. Hello, I guess we'll do it. Yeah. So this, so this I, totally got... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um, so I'm really excited for the sequel, Velocirapture. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine made that joke earlier today, and it was just too good to wait. So. Oh, that, that is incredible. This thing totally got snubbed at Oscar season, because, you know, it's like... It's one of those Oscar movies where it's not pretentious at you, so you know it's really, really much appreciated. Yeah, it's it's the artistic elements leave a bit to be desired in that sense. I think yep. the best supporting actor should have at least been, you know, the nomination should have at least been given to the camera. Um, I can't even figure out when this movie was actually released because I've been seeing like three different dates on this fucking thing. It's definitely one of those <laughs> things that like, like what got like some, got some traction and then like was probably released independently and then got more traction and then got mm -hmm. released elsewhere. And now it's on prime and more people are noticing it. Like I just heard about this movie last year. And when I saw the trailer, I thought it was like, you know, going to be released, but it was already out and I didn't even realize it. And it's free on Amazon prime. So it's like, well, mm -hmm. well I'm counting as a this year release. Cause I'm mm -hmm. lazy at this point. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, we could do it as another one of the catch up things. We're doing more of those anyway. True. Um, but, but uh, yeah, would you not? I mean, come on, you're gonna want this for your end of the year considerations. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it, but not that much. Um, All right, so I mean, it's no butt boy. <laughs> it's definitely no butt boy. Um, oh man, uh, this is a hard movie to kind of like try to review. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, so... because it's clearly not meant to be taken. <laughs> Like in any degree of serious, not not in the slightest. Really? No, you you got that impression. <laughs> <laughs> There's some very serious drama in this film. Like, yeah. I mean, okay, I won't say anything because spoilers. But I don't even know if spoilers matter that much with a movie like this. But there were definitely moments of surprise in the movie that made me really that happy. There were. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let's go without spoilers for a minute and just talk about like what we enjoyed. As like thematically, I guess, and then let's dive into real spoilers because I want to talk about moments. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, Michael, you and I watched this together today remotely. Uh, Matt, what what was your what, what's your history with this movie? Why did you insist on it for this? I mean, we can tell now, but yeah. <laughs> nice so story. it it all started uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, my friend Gavin and I hung at, social distance hung out in my backyard. And um, he was just like, like it just kind of came up in conversation. Like, dude, you got to see Philosopaster. And I said, you want to you run that title by me again? <laughs> and um, from that point on, it's like after, after I heard, was it someone suggested a movie to Michael? I, don't, I think it was Willoughby's. Like, yeah. they were like saying Michael should review Willoughby's. And I was like, oh, Michael's taking requests. <laughs> this is a, this is an excuse to bring this up because I am desperate for things to do. So, yep. <laughs> in these dark times. I mean, that's how we ended up reviewing Mandy. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the case where you and I were just bored one night, and it's like you just want to pick something and watch it. <laughs> we have just made a giant list of movies, picked one at random. Let's do Nicholas Cage one. That sounds like fun. There we go. Sometimes <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> well. Mandy had been on my list for a while as a must-see, actually good Nicolas Cage movie, and uh, so, but Michael had never heard of it, so I'm like, all right, we're taking. No, that's you in not blind. true. I heard of it. I just never saw it. <laughs> okay. Because uh, cool. I remember when I when it came out, and I just never got around to it. Um, I'm still pissed off. I missed that in theaters. I'm <laughs> so upset. But, but anyway, anyway, yeah. So, but lots of pastor. <laughs> um. So, tell the thing about your dad because I think that was great. What was oh. I guess I didn't say that while we were recording. Um, yeah, so I, I, I showed my dad the trailer that was on Amazon Prime, and I turned on, and I was in love with it from the trailer. And I was like, oh, man. And I, I, start, I turned it on, and my dad like sat down on the couch and started watching. He says, I'm just going to watch a little bit of it. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. And then he watched the entire movie with me, and it was glorious. <laughs> He, he could not take his eyes away. 
I mean, how could how could you? How even could you? I, I know. Just to see I what definitely... kind of weird technical fuck up's gonna happen next. Mm-hmm. I I uh I definitely came into the movie. You know, it's very obvious what this is. I have a long history with enjoying, you know, so good it's ba- so bad it's good kind of movies. Oh yeah, same. Um, but it's kind of been a while since I jumped into a movie that um was self consciously so bad it's good. Like I used to be a big fan of trauma movies and everything. Mm. So um, it's been a while since I watched something like that, and this was just this reminded me of why I love them so much because at the same time as you know there, there's a way that certain movies do things when they're self-aware of how bad they are and they just use it as an excuse to be bad but this had some real personality and genuine laughs like was i was consistently bad. laughing <laughs> yeah i was consistently laughing at the jokes throughout the whole movie and i did not expect to be that entertained the whole way through and it knows when to you know it know it knows when to call it quits like this is a nice short yeah. Like slightly over it, an hour it, it, movie. It's like barely over an hour, yeah. Um, but yeah, just to bounce off that, yeah, like I will fully like, this is a creatively deliberately terrible movie yeah. in ways that is like because I, I watch movies like this before. I think we all have at some point. We've all watched like our yeah. show and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The ones that are like deliberately over the top and cheesy, but there's something weirdly oh, yeah. just like it's the the budget it has versus what it does with it, and the fourth wall breaking jokes that come with it are just creative but dumb as shit. <laughs> and yeah, shitty, somehow, yeah, despite knowing that oh, after the first man. five minutes, you still end up being surprised by it at every turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, the 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 opening gag of the movie in particular. Oh just, my god, yes. I was like, All right, that will make or break it for you. Because I actually saw an Amazon review. Don't read the Amazon reviews. There's literally one that just spoils the whole plot of the movie, just complaining about it, which I'm mm. glad I saw after I watched the movie. But apparently that opening gag is kind of a make or break point. If you're not down with how that first two minutes goes, then it's really not going to be your kind of movie. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So don't force yourself to watch more thinking it'll get better. It tells you exactly what it is right away. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And uh, if you're down, you're down. Have a good time. If not, just fine. Move on. Um, but I really loved uh, the the earnestness of the main character's performance. The priest <laughs> yeah. himself. Is oh my god! Yeah. Pretty solid. Uh, uh, you you look like you froze a sec. Me? Yeah. Well, we can hear you, but you're you're not moving. Hi. Oh, now you're moving. All right. Great. Remote reviews. Yeah, high budget. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Um, um, but yeah, it's it's this whole thing where I it it knows what it is and it tells you what it is and it stays that thing the whole time. And um, even within that, the performance of the main character is really really uh, it, it works. It does that thing where some of the performance or performances are over the top. Um, but for the most part, the main characters seem pretty earnest in what they're doing. And, uh, my favorite version of that is, uh, like Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where the whole movie is just filled with psychos, but King Arthur himself <laughs> is just really, really serious mm-hmm. and taking everything seriously through the whole movie. I love that, that approach. And this movie kind of does that. Yeah, I can definitely see that. It does got a bit of a, like a cheaper Monty Python kind of vibe to it. Um... Yeah, I can't really think of what else to add to that without going into spoilers. Do you guys just want to go into spoilers? I I am so ready to go into spoilers. Yeah, let's 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 go into spoilers. I think it's pretty clear we all enjoyed this movie quite a bit. Yeah, like this is better than I expect. Like not well, yeah. better than <laughs> I expected. No, I, I I enjoyed it more than I expected to. I expected to be like, oh, this is bad. Well, that's funny. Okay, but I was engaged the whole damn time. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Right. Uh, what was your guys' favorite part? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if it's fair to try to put, make, it, make a favorite. Uh, okay, what are the highlights? I mean, a better, a better question. Uh, the opening gag. 
Yeah. For the parents the, side, the, uh, the VFX the, car fire. Yeah. yeah the, uh, the, VFX car the, fire. the VFX car fire is one thing, but I, I love the uh, I love the camera zoom and pan and how they just, like yes. keep the cut going and it pans up and then just kind of goes down and over and like wanders <laughs> like it doesn't know what I, to do. I fall in love with how every shot just seemed to last too long. <laughs> But yeah, like just, just above things. the too long line, or just the editing is absolutely atrocious. no sense. Oh yeah, like there's a part no, that like, fades into the same <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like three <laughs> times in a row. But uh, there's that one part where, uh, like, when he walks out and he's like, "Mom and Dad." <laughs> that was my mom. <laughs> Hello, mom. Mom says hi. Uh, um, VFX car fire. <laughs> But oh, one second. One sec. Hey, right, keep talking. I'll be back. Okay. Sure. If you want to mute your stuff, that's fine. Uh, uh, but there's uh, there's the thing where he steps out the church and he looks and he's like, "Mom and Dad," and and <laughs> who says that? They're like, "Mom, Dad," something like that. No one says "Mom and Dad" to call over to them. Like it's just brilliantly awkward. Just and then when it. When it cuts back between them, like it cuts back as though he hasn't said it yet, and then they notice a couple seconds into the shot, and then look, turn and look, and they're like, <laughs> so <laughs> It's oh, I loved it. I, loved I think it. my favorite little, like little like side moment gags is when just when the three ninjas show up when they like they're using the stock footage from earlier in the movie, and then one of the ninjas yeah. goes, "Crikey, that's who we're looking for." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's an Australian, the one Australian ninja. the Australian ninja <laughs> that yeah, just the, gets you so movie, off guard. Um, it, it it goes into the whole thing where like it it leans really hard into the fact that they're not going to be able to do ninjas right. <laughs> so they most of the ninjas are played by white dudes who just have like t-shirts pulled over their faces or things tied around their heads. Yep, and um, they're ninjas. From China, <laughs> and I guess it's like a walk away. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but ninjas are Japanese, well, so yeah. Uh, like from the get go, those... they're... yep. Well, yeah. even then, like so, the movie so starts, then... like maybe you should travel, go to somewhere where God can't find you, and then like, <laughs> it's like walk driving a walk driving <laughs> later. China. It's, it's like some <laughs> random fucking yeah. um, like. It, it looks, looks like the and, same woods that he wanders yeah. into throughout the movie. Tell this was it just, just like says three China. It's just like, yeah, absolutely. It's oh. the same shit. And, and I like um, they implied that he drove there. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. <laughs> and he looks at his map and he's like, China is east. And, <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was looking at a compass in that I guy. Was like, I was just too. like, yeah, it's not a compass. And he's like, it is east. Like, that's how compasses freaking work. Yeah. No, it's, it's, um, and then the fact that, like, they're like, okay, we're just gonna have random white guys playing ninjas, so, um, let's have this one be Australian, like, hard Australian. <laughs> and then he sits there, he starts right. strategizing with the other ninjas. And the one on the left just starts wandering into, like, a flashback <laughs> to the woman he left behind or something. Yeah. And it's, I knew I would it's one of those things where, like, it's like if you're watching Attack on Titan, where it just spends a whole episode building up this new character and then immediately kills them. Yep. Like, just, uh, and, um, and this movie does that too. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, the guy with the brother near the end. Oh my yes. God, so that the flashback scenes from him. <laughs> like, it just pans over his brother's. <laughs> like, over they're all me. laughing at the kitchen table, and the brother's standing in the doorway with a holding glass of juice, just like super sad. It's like, dude, just sit down. Like, why are you. <laughs> When he rises out of the backseat of the car. <laughs> and then I love that he just cuts back to like, what was so funny? What was so funny? <laughs> Which is what I was thinking. So I kind of wanted to answer that question too. Uh, or just the part where you're like, they're doing the seance with kind of Satan. Uh, uh, like, okay, so I actually knew the guy who played the seance person. I think really? he's like a wizard. Well, not personally, but I'm aware of oh. who he is. I, was gonna I, say, I didn't like hey, meet him. You're and you have an emotional connection with this movie or something. Like, I mean, I did. I have many emotional connections to this personal movie. connection. Personal. Uh, now, uh, he's like a gothic comedy musician 
who named Aurelio Voltaire. And, oh. like, when I saw his name in the credit, I was like, okay, that has to be, like, a joke or a gag or something. Because, you know, there's, like, two Voltaires I'm thinking of. Neither of them are probably in this movie. And when he showed up, it blew my freaking mind. <laughs> uh, it's just, like, well, the part... Oh, sorry. <sighs> Was I, the part about that scene that killed me, just, just when they do have, like, he starts transforming while he's there, and he just pans back, and he's wearing this wife beater, and his arms turn to velociraptor hands. And they just, yeah, like, they're not even trying to hide the fact they're just big-ass gloves. Like, it's just rubber gloves. He's yep. it's just, it's just right gloves. here. They're open. He's just like, Argh. like, it's so bad. Um, you have to be down with a movie yeah. that, like, the charm is part of that. I think they did a good job by leaving the suit until the end because yeah. you only see parts of it leading up and you're like, wow, that looks shitty. And then when uh, you see the whole thing, you're like, that looks shittier than I thought it would. <laughs> and if they had revealed it at the beginning and just had it be a motif throughout the movie, I honestly think it wouldn't have worked as well. I agree. But by leaving the reveal for the end and having it be that bad, it's just, uh, it's perfect. It works. And I just love like the the just they just left the hole where the actor crawls inside it just wide open. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yes. oh yeah. No, one one of my other favorite moments is when um when Carol gets slashed with the sword. I was just gonna <laughs> like the dude the dude just slowly walks up to her and then just raises it and she just looks at him. <laughs> just, <laughs> but it's just like this deep gash, but it doesn't damage the straps of her of her outfit. But somehow she's just like coughing up blood and dying. Like it's just one of those things that movies like this do, and it was it was really well well executed. No, I bet my favorite like part about that is because the sad the ninjas, ninjas watching. The sad like, ninjas yeah, watching. Like, <laughs> they're just like holding each other. I feel bad about just, this. Just the one who's like. <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, but yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's. let's um, Overall things that make this movie great, the software humor throughout it is really solid. And the way that these moments are executed. Yeah, no, the way that they executed these things, it would be very easy to execute them in a way where it's just a little too glib or it's just it's it's one of those things where it's like, look, we're self-aware. Ho 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 ho. But it's stupid enough that it, it works. So, like, there's a weird balance to pulling that kind of thing off. And this this did it. It absolutely did it. None of these jokes, could, like, all of these jokes could have fallen flat in their fucking face. Everything we're talking about could have, like, been done terribly. But it wasn't. It knew how to use its budget. It knew how to use its tone. Um, mm -hmm. It gives you the illusion of playing it straight while also being a, just a terrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what did you mean you meet yourself or what? Yes. Okay, just make sure. Um I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. A, I'm gonna take a bite of food. I don't want to be like chewing into the microphone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was eating food while watching this and I hurt poor Muha's ears. Uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, Matt, your thoughts. <laughs> my, my thoughts. My thoughts are never concise. And I'm worried I'm just going to go off on a ramble on just stuff I thought was funny. <laughs> but, like... Um, well, like, what were some of your highlights? <laughs> okay, my, my actual highlight was just how after they had the exorcist come over... And then they go into like the like the older priest's like grand backstory of like being in Vietnam, and then like <laughs> like, like and it's like a 50, 10, 15 minute flashback where it's got all these, and it's like just this really long conversation with his friend who then dies in the same woods, in I the same the woods, same woods, <laughs> and. And then, like, how his girlfriend, like, visits him in Vietnam. And she yeah. just yeah. up. And there's a the whole there. It's just... And then, like, they have this whole thing. And then how they just kind of kill him in the next scene. But then <laughs> like, they don't kill him. They actually kill him in the scene after. and just We were talking about that when it happened. 
mm-hmm. and just the brilliance of how that joke is set up, where uh, his girlfriend finds him, and we're like, wait, how the fuck did she get to Vietnam? <laughs> and we're like, we're sitting there, and I, and I was like, she's gonna she's gonna be blown up by a mine, huh? And he's like, yeah, totally. And we're watching, and she comes up, and she comes up, and then it cuts to them in the same shot, and we're like, oh, I guess she's gonna make it. And then she gets two feet away from him. And she didn't <laughs> and like, is, it is a perfect example of how good this movie is at comedic timing, where it knows yeah. what you think the joke is going to be, and it's going to fuck with you just enough to make it unexpected, even though you knew what to expect. And that is really like there's something brilliant about that. That in fact that it continues to do that the whole time. I think my favorite part of that is like the scene that the two guys immediately like, walk in afterwards and they just go like, man, like that's a shame. Like, what is she doing here? I don't know. Looks like she wanted to start a family. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what was she doing all the way out in the woods? It's like, I don't know, probably trying to start a family. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? Oh, oh. <sighs> I, I don't know. Oh. Oh god! I mean, there's no, just like, too much to say about this movie. I know. Um, I, mean, it's, I think for like just, it really is a movie that, for what it is and how dumb it is and how dumb it knows it is, it shouldn't quite frankly be as entertaining as it is. Mm-hmm. With its no right to work as well as it... identity. Yeah. <laughs> um, it has no right to work as well as it does, but it really does it. It pulls it off. Yeah. And I, if this if this guy made more of these movies, I would watch them. Yeah, uh, I'd watch the shit I'm out of Austin Rapp. Sure. You know what? I I actually have another. I, I I take it back. There have been a couple movies I've watched in the past few years that fall into this kind of category. I totally forgot I watched Sharknado. Um, exactly. but there's also a movie called Call Girl of Cthulhu. What? And I'm, I we should watch it together. I 100 yes. percent think that Absolutely, we should watch it. Absolutely, yes, please. Every <laughs> every between scene transition is a visual pun. I am so excited. You like I I can't. I'm not going to give you examples. You just got to understand that when it, when it happens. Like because at first I didn't really notice it, but then I was like, wait, this is intentional, and it kept doing it. It was really. <laughs> But yeah, um, The Lost Bastard. Mm. I love this movie. <laughs> Absolutely. One yeah. good time in every way. Yep, yep. I think it's all we can really say about this. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I don't think we want to make our, our review like half as long as the movie. <laughs> it's not <laughs> a long <laughs> It's like less than 70 minutes, and that's mm-hmm. with the credits. So um, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've said what I want to say. Matt, did you get everything you wanted out? Or uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. I think I I can't really think of anything else to add to any of that other than then, yeah, it's yeah. it's funnier than it should be. It is um, my new favorite bad movie. <laughs> right on. Um. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna watch next. Quite frankly, uh, we have a list. I don't even know what, like we we mm-hmm. will probably go down our list. Um, as far as like new releases come out, I don't know. If something that came out earlier this year you guys want me to watch, let me know in the comments. At this point, I'll take anything. Did you uh, did you watch Relic? Yes, we did watch Relic. Okay. How was that? It was one of those movies I was kind of eh on it at first, but I liked it the more I thought about it. <laughs> okay, good, good. Um, so I, 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 I find those interesting. I would give it like an 8.5 if I had to put a metric on it. Um, oh, nice. What would you say your, your initial impression would have been? Uh, uh, the initial impression was kind of, and eh, the main characters are kind of, eh. Um, oh, like your, your your numerical rating, what do you think? I think I put it at seven to start, but then I was talking with Grant about it, and he was he kind of like brought up some points, like, okay, that's actually really valid, that's actually a pretty good point, and then just kind of like, oh, I kind of missed that, okay. And that, <laughs> well, um, yeah. All right, we'll look at some stuff and uh, figure it out, because I, I definitely have... Like I will regularly jump on a Metacritic and critic and be like, "Oh, what came out recently?" Uh, so yeah, so I'm opening. Right. Up. Fuck it, I don't care. I really don't. That's, that's there's one here. called the. Uh, there's one called She Dies Tomorrow that I really want to see. I'm down. Uh, um. Otherwise, guys, uh, the Superman Smash of the Clan video, <laughs> the longest editorial we've made to date, has been released. Um. So go check it 
out now. It is a video I'm personally very proud of. Everyone involved worked their asses off on. Dude, they do. Uh, it looks amazing. So, I haven't watched the whole thing so, yet, but like, that's a. Uh, I, I really appreciate in-depth video essays that explore a lot of topics. And uh, yeah, you're, you're, it, it, the idea of making something that lasts 50 minutes, I know that some people are like, oh, it's an hour long video, but it, that means it takes the time to explore the topic thoroughly and really kind of be more thought provoking instead of just touching on things. And yeah, I, I really appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to watching it. So I'm, I'm really happy that they came out. It was one of those videos. It was not supposed to be that long. It happened. <laughs> I first started writing. Uh, oh, yeah. And then like four straight days, of uh, four hour writing shifts later, it, what was supposed to be like 50 minutes long turned to like a 10,000 word essay. Nice. That, took a, <laughs> that took us an hour to record <laughs> in the studio. Sometimes uh, I think the best things are things that you intend to be sure when you start writing them. But then they end up way longer than you thought they'd be. There's too much good stuff. Exactly. There's too much good stuff. Yeah. No, I'm good with it. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so like please watch a... that, share it, like and subscribe, all that jazz. Spread that around because I'm very proud of that work. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys any final words? Carry us out? Go see it. It's, yep. it's free on Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, it's an hour long. Just mm -hmm. give it a shot. Like I said, the first couple of minutes, you'll know whether you like it or not. And oh, yep. you, you won't if, if you do like it, then you won't regret this. It's one of the better ones of its kind I've seen. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah. all right. Sounds this good. This is all a right. movie you can watch with your friends while you guys are still sober. Like, it's a Yeah, movie. I watched this sober. Mm -hmm. it, it, but if, even if you're not, you can still probably get it. Yeah, I, I was better. drinking when I watched it, but I still loved it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's good no matter what state of mind you're in. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That's all we got. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Doodles. Yeah.